Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to show you how to open the doll chest in Outlands Canyon and complete the challenge Perfect Timing in Borderlands, the pre-sequel. So when you come through the first gate, you'll see this doll building with an electric fence, and normally you would need to look for a switch, but this one's different. It doesn't have a switch. It has three uh, pressure plates you need to activate. So you need to jump high enough up, slam the ground to change it from green to red, and then we will continue on to get the next two. There are three total, and you have a time limit on this, so it's best to clear out this whole area of bad guys before you proceed, just so you don't have to deal with them. Um, at least through here, this first part, because there are a lot of uh, scavs through here. So we're going to head over to the next Oz area and the launch pad, or jump pad, uh, to get towards the second one. So the timing here, I think, is a little under two or three minutes, somewhere around there, so you do need to hurry. Uh, it's definitely doable by foot, so you don't need a vehicle, which is good because you don't have access to a vehicle through most of this, but if you wanted to, you could get one right here. So we're going to continue forward here, and um, we're going to take a left and go over these rocks to the next pressure plate, which is up here at the Crater of Misplaced Enthusiasm. So we will jump in the air and slam the ground and the lights have turned red so we know we have activated number two. The third one, if we continue on, is going to be towards our right where the Oz Dome is for oxygen and uh, you'll want to avoid the torques as best you can through here but you'll see the plates right there, so we are going to jump up on it and slam down, and that is the third plate. I love this place! So now we're just going to continue back up the hill here and head back to the doll weapon stash and uh, there will be a few baddies through here along the way and uh, this one's actually pulling me in so I kind of have to deal with him but for the most part if you can just run through there's no need to worry about killing them unless of course they're killing you but you are on a time limit so you'll want to be sure that if you are running low on time to hurry for the goal and you will know if you're running out of time because right before the timer runs up you will hear a very loud ticking noise that probably goes on for about 10 seconds and that means you have run out of time. So we haven't heard that yet so we're still doing pretty well and uh, I think we're well within the time limit so we're just going to sprint ahead here and head back towards the chest. Definitely getting followed, but <laughs> that's to be expected. Okay, so you can shoot this geyser off and then jump straight up to the doll weapons cache. And you can see the three lights right below the sign are all green, which means I've activated and the gate's down. I can open the chest, and you should now receive the perfect timing badass challenge. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch at Red Lace Gaming. Also, please visit my website, redlacegaming.com.